Minister, in 2023, 3,285 people uh, presented at Dublin Airport without valid um, travel documents. Uh, in 2022, it was 4,968. Um, under Section 11 of the Immigration Act 2004, it is an offence to embark uh, in Ireland without um, valid travel documents. Now, now, it would appear to me that that's a strict liability offence. Um, it doesn't really matter what your intention is or what your reasons are. It's an offence. So, in other words, if the window flies off your Boeing 737 and your passport gets sucked out, it's still an offence. It may go towards the sentence you receive, but it's still an offence. Punishable by up to 12 months in prison and uh, arrestable without warrant. Uh, to date, nobody has been... Um, uh, one person, rather, has been prosecuted, I think, in 2022. Um, so it seems that this is an offence that's not being prosecuted in Ireland for whatever reason. And the reason, what I want to know from you is why, um, because we're constantly told that we have a rules-based approach, and we do in some respects. Uh, sometimes rules are applied, sometimes they're not. It's not clear sometimes why they're being applied and why they're not. But I want to know why this particular offence is not being prosecuted in Ireland because it is leading to considerable disquiet and you know it brings the law into disrepute if there's a, a provision on the statute books which isn't either prosecuted or isn't prosecutable and I want to know what the story is around this because there was a, a statute law revision done years ago to take not that long ago but to take uh, various provisions off the statute books that weren't used going back hundreds of years but this is a relatively recent um, a piece of legislation, as I say, it's the uh, Section 11 of the Immigration Act 2004. Uh, obviously, Dublin Airport, I think, is in your constituency. If it's not, it's very close to it. Uh, and the majority of uh, the people who presented in Ireland without it, I uh, sorry, all of these people presented at Dublin Airport. There may be people presenting other, elsewhere, but certainly Dublin Airport is the place getting most attention in that regard. Minister. We, we have a rules-based system and those rules need, need to be enforced, there's no question in relation to that. I have seen the reports in relation to those arriving in Dublin Airport without travel documents. I think firstly, just, just remember, many people who are arriving and seeking protection here are fleeing persecution. And I know, Deputy, you agree with this, that as a country we have been welcoming, welcoming and we should continue uh, to do that. In some instances, people have very valid reasons as to why they don't have uh, travel documents as well. Fleeing some countries where passports can't be issued travel documentations can't be issued as well. Uh, and so we've got to be aware of that too. <clears throat> but where people are, are, are seeking asylum uh, in, for, for false reasons, that, that does deserve to be prosecuted. There's no question on that. I know that there has been uh, additional training for airline staff where people are presenting without documentation too. Uh, so we do have a rules-based system uh, here in Ireland as well. And what we've got to ensure uh, as, as a state, that was we've, we're seeing a continued increase of people wanting to live here and seeking asylum here in Ireland, that we make sure the supports are there in place for them and the supports are in place for the communities who host them. And I actually commend the communities right the way across the country who've, you know, in a very short space of time, we've been able to accommodate over 100,000 people here. Many new people who are going to set down roots here as families are coming here. Uh, and they're getting a welcome. And we've seen some awful uh, situations very recently whereby we've, we've, we've seen accommodation centres and places that have been identified for, uh, for that accommodation uh, being torched. And that has to be roundly condemned. That is an atrocious criminal behaviour that has no place in this country. But to get back to your specific point, that in, re in relation to the laws that we have and the immigration legislation that we have here, it is clear in relation to travel documentation. Where someone is found uh, to be breaking the law, they should be prosecuted, and indeed they, indeed they will be. I don't have the numbers that have been prosecuted under, uh, under the provisions of, uh, of, of that Act, okay? And that's something that I can certainly raise with the Minister for Justice. But this has been discussed at Cabinet, at Government level, and, and amongst our parties as well, to make sure that we have a fair system for people uh, who, who come into this country. We issue work permits here, about 60,000 work permit, permits a year for people who are choosing this country as a place to live. One wouldn't believe that that is the case if you've listened to the previous speaker here, that no one wants to live in this country at all. Many, many thousands do. Many thousands of Irish come back here. Many people from other countries want to come and live here. I'm responding to, to Deputy McNamara, if you don't mind. Um, so in relation to the numbers of prosecutions, you've said there's been zero under that. That's something that I will raise uh, with, the, with the Minister for Justice. But we're, we've ensured that both airline staff, immigration staff and that are properly and appropriately trained uh, to, deal with, to deal with people who are coming in who are trying to get around the laws that are in place already. But the vast majority of people who are seeking asylum and protection 
and protection here. Their claims will be processed expeditiously and efficiently, and those who can stay should stay and should get a welcome here in this country. <coughs> that those who arrive without a passport don't have the right to claim asylum. They do, but they are still subject to the laws of the land while claiming asylum, including the requirement to present a passport on arrival. Now, it may be that people flee countries, and it, not, it may be, it certainly is the case that people flee countries without passports. Very many, millions of people all over the world, but they don't get on a flight to Dublin without a passport. I think we all know that. So my question is not, why are people allowed to claim asylum? Of course people are allowed to claim asylum. That's our international obligation. My question is, why are people who are in breach of the law, a strict liability offence, uh, not being prosecuted in this state? Who is giving the order not to do so? Is it coming from senior guard of management? Is it coming from within GI, NIB? Is it coming from government? Because the law is not being applied. And that's brings the law into disrepute at some point. Not why are people allowed to claim asylum. I know why they're allowed to claim asylum. We have an international obligation. And as decent human beings, we have a requirement to allow people to claim asylum. But why are people not being prosecuted for presenting at Dublin Airport without valid identity documents? That is my question, Minister, and I'd like an answer. Minister. I understand the question, and to say that anyone who comes in without travel documents, and you'll know this, I know Dublin Airport well, all of us, all of us do as well, that you will have GNIB officers and immigration officers that will interview each of those individuals that comes in without travel documentation. So no one just walks straight into the country. They will be interviewed. There can be valid reasons, as you have said as well, as to why people would not have travel documents. Now, at the point of, of exiting the country, one would expect that if they're travelling from another country, that they would have had travel documents to get on that flight in the first instance. There can be security reasons, there can be personal reasons that people uh, would not have those documenta that documentation when they arrive in Dublin. I don't have the specific answer for you as to what the... I, I'm sure there's no direction to say no prosecutions in that regard, but there are detailed interviews held with people when people arrive into our ports and into Dublin Airport as well, uh, you know, when they arrive in here, not just seeking asylum, but without travel documentation. Deportations do happen in Ireland too, Deputy, and you're, you're, you're aware of that as well, where people have found... Yeah, so what I'm saying to you is we do have a rules-based system. Those rules need to be and are actually being, being implemented. Thank in relation you, to prosecutions under that act, I don't have the up-to-date detail, but I will certainly get a response for you.